for 60 years now, OMV has been producing oil and gas in the Weinviertel. As a long-time partner of the region, OMV also takes its responsibilities to people and nature very seriously. OMV currently produces just over 700,000 tons of oil each year, thereby fulfilling about 10% of domestic demand. The extraction process generates not only oil and gas, up to 93% of daily production is water. This produced water was formed millions of years ago through the enclosure of underground salt water deposits. The mixture of oil, gas and produced water is separated in two separation plants. From there, the oil makes its way through the Auerstahl tank farm to the Schwechat refinery for final processing. The refined products and the extracted gas then reach the customer. For OMV, though, the water it produces is equally important. After passing through the separation plant, the produced water still has an oil content of up to 300 ppm and a small percentage of very fine solid particles. 300 ppm, that's 300 parts oil for every 1 million parts water. This produced water must then be returned to the reservoirs. However, this cycle can only be completed once the salt water has reached the highest possible degree of purity. We are talking about 2 ppm of residual oil. In order to achieve this sustainably, between 2012 and 2014, OMV Austria built a new water treatment plant in Schönkirchen. It has the following three facilities. Produced water treatment, process water treatment, and sludge treatment. This new facility was conceived and built to operate just about every day of the year. The data on new produced water treatment speaks for itself. A closed system ensures that the CO2 footprint is reduced by about 70%. The facility runs completely automatically and guarantees a maximum plant availability. Nitrogen blanketing further ensures exclusion of oxygen. This prevents the biological functions of microorganisms as well as any corrosion problems in plant components. The produced water treatment plant is built with state-of-the-art technology developed by OMV. The produced water, separated at the separation plants, is then pumped through a manifold, where several pipelines merge into a main inlet and into the plant. Then, a three-stage water treatment process begins. In the first stage, the water, which at this point contains 300 ppm residual oil, is channeled through a total of five parallel plate separators. Due to their different densities, the oil rises to the top of the water. Closely packed parallel plates, the so-called lamellae, facilitate the separation process by providing a surface where drops of oil can accumulate, increase in size, and then rise to the surface. The accumulated oil is then removed from the parallel plate separators and pumped through a pipeline to the Matson separation plant. Of course, the lamellae must be cleaned at regular intervals. In the Schönkirchen water treatment plant, the parallel plate assembly is rotated automatically and flushed out by a jet of water. Typically, the lamellae are regularly replaced. Here, however, they can be reused, an OMV innovation. The formation water, now with a maximum of 100 ppm of oil, is ready for the second stage of the water treatment process. Meanwhile, the water has reached the flotation unit. With the help of flocculation agents, so-called polymer flakes are generated in the coagulation tanks to which the tiniest of oil drops adhere. The mixture of water and flakes now enters the flotation cells, where it is mixed with tiny nitrogen bubbles. Through the formation of nitrogen bubbles, the flakes bearing small oil droplets, are drawn to the surface. 
This forms a sludge, which can then easily be skimmed and transported to the sludge treatment plant. After this stage of cleaning, the water has an impressive purity level of 20 ppm of residual oil. But even this is not good enough for OMV. On to the third stage of water treatment. This is where walnut shells play a very important role. The nut shells, ground down to the consistency of sand, have an enormously powerful affinity to the residual oil particles. They absorb the remaining oil in the water and bind it to themselves. This natural filter is 1.2 meters thick, and the water flows through it from top to bottom. Best of all, since the nut shells are very easy to clean, they have a long operational lifetime. At this point, the produced water can be used again. A circulation pump flushes it at regular intervals in the opposite direction. The friction between the nut shells becomes so intense that the bound oil particles are then released. The nut shells are retained in a cleaning filter, and the separated water, which of course contains the traces of rinsed out oil, is then further processed by the so-called process water treatment plant. Our formation water now has an oil content of only 2 ppm and can begin its journey back into the reservoir. Carried by its own 150 kilometer long underground system of pipelines, the water reaches about 60 injector wells which then return it to the reservoir. But that's not all. The process water, which is an effluent of the produced water treatment units, must be correctly purified and recycled in an environmentally friendly way. Since this water has come into contact with oxygen, it is separated from the produced water and purified in the so-called process water treatment plant. This is done in three stages. Through a drain system, the process water arrives in the so-called separation basin where oil and sludge, a phase mixture of oil, fine solid particles and water, are separated during the first step. Due to their differing densities, this is also where the separation of oil and water phases occurs. With the help of special skimmers, the oil and sludge can be removed quite easily. The oil travels through a pipeline to the Matson separation plant, and the sludge is transported onto the sludge treatment plant. The water that receives this type of preliminary treatment then reaches the next separation basin, where it is pumped on to the next step in treatment. Like the produced water, the process water then undergoes final treatment with flotation and nutshell filtration. Then, purified to a maximum of 20 ppm, the process water can also complete its journey back into the reservoir. Finally, we want to address sludge treatment. In the first step, different kinds of sludge are pumped into separate separation vessels and subsequently drained. The drainage process proceeds in the following way. The vessel is first filled up with sludge. With the help of agitators, it is thoroughly mixed. After the agitators have stopped, the sedimentation phase begins. The lighter, oily sludge floats to the top of the water. This water can simply be drawn off and piped back into the process water treatment plant. This procedure is repeated until no further water can be removed. But before the concentrated sludge can be separated into its components, oil, water and solids, it must first be heated. To do this, the sludge is transferred to a spiral wound heat exchanger where it is continuously warmed in a cycle until it reaches 80 degrees Celsius. This temperature increase minimizes the oil's viscosity, enabling a better phase separation in the next step. Now, the final step in the sludge treatment procedure, the three-phase separation. The heated sludge, mixed with additives, arrives in a three-phase separator, which can divide the sludge into its constituent parts using centrifugal force. Then, the oil, water and solids are piped off separately. 
the oil is transported back to the Matson separation plant and the accruing water is pumped back to the process water treatment plant. All that is left is the solid material which, rather than being dumped, as is typical, is sent to an external facility for thermal recycling. Through its investment in the new Schoenkirchen water treatment plant, OMV once again demonstrates that it is a reliable and environmentally conscious partner of the region.